trial of a new no swab test for COVID-19 is kicking off in Britain. Health officials there say participants are able to collect their saliva sample from the comfort of their own home. And with more is our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi. So, Doc, this test has been described as highly promising. What can you tell us about it? So, Alan and Glenda, yeah, this saliva test has shown itself to be so far very promising. It was developed by a British molecular diagnostic company called Optigene. And it's about to be really thoroughly tested in this new trial taking place in southern England. Now, here's what's going to happen. The trial will run for about four weeks, involve more than 14,000 participants. And each of the, the folks that are participating will be sent test vials to their homes or workplaces. And they'll be split and uh, they'll split these vials and samples to be set off to be analyzed. Now, they'll get their results back in about 48 hours. What I like about this trial is that they should really be able to spot people who have the virus but don't show any symptoms. So I expect that we'll get some solid data uh, regarding how many people are actually asymptomatic and then maybe positive. So Dr. Nandy, do you think this easier type of test might help increase testing? 100% Glenda, you know, health officials are, are predicting that a saliva test will increase testing because it's easy and way less invasive. And it makes sense, right? So many of my patients tell me that swab testing is extremely uncomfortable because you get the swab that's, that's basically going to the back of your throat or deep into your nose. So nobody likes that. It makes people gag, cough, or sneeze. So most people would, I think, prefer to be tested in, in their own home or workplace and skip driving to a testing site also where you know they could potentially be exposed to a virus or it just in general it's just more comfortable and easy to, to access you know i second that i think more people would prefer the saliva test but just how accurate is this type of test compared to standard testing so Alan, right now here's what johns hopkins tells us that that up to 20 percent of swab tests can have false negatives. And I think that's because of the difficulty, in part because of swabbing people, right? Sticking that thing up in the nose and you don't get far enough. So swab tests use what's called the standard polymerase chain reaction or what's called PCR method. Whereas this saliva test uses a different technique called RT lamp to look for genetic material of the coronavirus. As to how accurate the saliva test will be, we don't have we don't know, but this trial should really help answer that question, Alan and Glenda. And, and it also will tell us if saliva test uh, testing is able to detect uh, people who are asymptomatic. To me, you know, that this is going to help people get more tests. To me, the way you fight this is to find out who's positive, who's negative, and, and be able to isolate those folks and get rid of the virus. That's going to be the key, and I think this is going to help in that. All right, Dr. Nandy, thanks so much. My pleasure. Yeah. And remember, if you do have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com, or be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.